what's up there's a job fair this thursday that i'm going to and then this weekend i have an airsoft game here it's going to be a night game it's hard to get footage of night games because it's hard to get cameras that can film good video at night next weekend is dragon con um i got my business cards purchased last night 20 bucks for 100 cards i did the expedited shipping which was 10 bucks but it was 20 bucks for the entire order shipping included so a little review of business card purchasing websites there's two big ones that i know of if you search for business cards on google you'll find vista print and 123 print i've used 123 print a lot throughout the years um, working at my last job the most recent order i placed with 123 print um, they changed their designer interface the interface that lets you upload graphics and place them in different areas of the business card place text and choose your text uh, your font your size and stuff they they changed that they completely revamped it and i think it was a mistake because they didn't add any features they they actually took away features the main difference is it just looks like nicer but features were lost and bugs were added anyway i i didn't want to use their new interface because it was so horrible compared to the last one i sent them an email saying do you have a photoshop psd template for your business cards i was looking for things like pixels per inch you know resolution they sent an email back the day the next day saying what do you mean by a PSD template? I'm like, whoa, whoa, that's a printing house. They should know what a PSD template is. But I'm like, whatever. I ended up using their new designer interface. It took a lot of time to design the same layout business card because the old interface, you could actually use one of your saved designs and reorder it with changes. Click the reorder with changes button. It opens that design in the editor and you can change the name from Bob to Steve or something. The new one, you can't do that. Your old designs are lost. So I had to completely redo the whole thing. It was very frustrating, but I, I ended up doing it and decided for my own personal projects, I'm not gonna use 123 print anymore because but the good thing is it's cheap and it's kind of the project triangle rule. There's three things, good, fast, and cheap. You can pick two, but not all three. It's like impossible in any sort of project. If you pick all three, uh, something will break. So, 123 print is probably fast and cheap, but not good. Vista print is probably about the same, but they have a, a better design interface. Hmm. I guess I can't say that yet, because I haven't used it as much as I have the 123 print designer. The Vista print design editor at least doesn't crash like the new 123 print editor does. The crash is you click save in 123 print design editor, a little save dialog modal pops up saying are you sure you want to save but it pops up and loads I and mean, it never gets to the are you sure you want to save it just loads indefinitely and then you look in the console and it's there's some http error you're like what my work is just lost so frustrating anyway vistaprint i also had problems with vistaprint um uploading images there was some pdf some not pdf png i was trying to upload and it just got stuck like stuck at 82 percent and then I cleared that one out and tried to upload a new one, 82%. Uploaded in a new browser, 82%. Uploaded in private mode, 82%. And I was like, ah, stupid. I tried it later. Anyway, their editors are horrible. If you can, if you can edit things yourself, just do it in Photoshop or GIMP. I used GIMP. I only use GIMP. But GIMP can open PSDs, which is why I open, asked them for PSDs in the first place. What am I getting at? I uploaded my design because I did it in GIMP. It's just this high resolution image, one image for the front, one inch image for the back. Just scale it to fit the entire business card. Done. Looks great on the preview. Downside to both 123 print and this print. When you go to checkout, there's like five pages, I kid you not, five pages of them trying to upsell you. Saying, do you want a notebook with the same design? Do you want a hat with the same design? Do you want sticky notes with the same design? Do you want a business card holder? Do you want a pen with the same design? Do you want stickers with the same design? They try to up upsell you for like five steps. And it's hard to say no to some of them because they're like, do you want this nice glossy finish? You're like, huh. Yes, I would like the glossy finish. There is a free glossy finish, though. Do you want rounded corners on your business card? Add an extra 20 bucks or something. Uh, both sites are like that. 123 Print seems to be better about it now, but Vista Print was exactly like that. But that makes sense because they, they offer really inexpensive business cards, and the way they make their money is up sales. It's a business model, it works. I'm still happy because I got what I want and just have to click no on everything. Next, 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 no, next, no, next. That's enough uh, business card printing house rambling. Um, I'm sure there are better ones out there, but 
I have not used any but the budget ones. Until next time, have a great day.